Hi YouTubers, Gina T. Natalie here. Just going over Psalms. We did a lot with Psalms this week. We're learning a lot about David and his faithfulness and his faithfulness in God. This gate is open. And we just left the hospital and I'm dri we're driving home and I feel like today is August 15th. It just had a little weird because I was followed today. I felt, I, w I just felt like when I was at the hospital, there were cars there that just seemed like they were there to intimidate me. And I don't know why. And talking to my friend in Ohio, it felt like she said, I used to be somebody that would just pick up and go. But now that I know what to expect in the street, of being followed and shocked it's just different but I'm putting myself in David's shoes and I have been God's gonna make a mess and message out of our mess and our trials and tribulations he will use them for his good somewhere down the road and the rest of Psalm 18 is very exciting and it's just how God rescued him from King Saul's army and God was, David was faithful to God. Steely boys here. And I just wanted to share that with you that even though I'm, I can't get up and go as I used to, I still get here. I still get up and go. Even though I might be scared, but I have to go about my day and do my work and do my chores. Um... I want to get out of the house. I want to go shopping. I want to go to the library. But it's like waiting. When am I going to get the next shock? When is somebody going to zap me? Which really sucks. But today's July 31st. It is about 6, maybe 7 o'clock in Grandview, Missouri. I'm getting shocked right now on my foot. And it's just, I, I, when is it going to stop? When am I going to be left alone? Um... I just want to go about my day without being terrorized and why are people terrorizing me so with that um, know that if you're going through a mess God is there for you and he could be he will be your rock and your refuge like he was for David anyway um, talk to you soon I'm gonna post Psalm 18 25 through 50 in a little bit and my sister-in-law is better uh, everything is in God's hands. Peace out. Be a blessing. God bless. Talk to you soon.